Thanks, Ron. Well, Kim Howard is the regional director of the Small Business Development Center, and she is here to chat in our chamber chat segments. Good to see you. Good to be here. Thanks for braving the weather to yeah. get over here today. Paddled in here in my canoe. That's exactly <laughs> right. And now it's going to be foggy on your way home. Oh, so there great. You go. <laughs> great. Well, what's on the list? Because there's lots of things going on, Kim. There are lots of things, and, and we're kicking off February. We know everybody wants to get out of the house in February. Yes. We've got a Family Business Alliance panel. Um, young women who are in leadership positions with companies in the Evansville area will be talking about how they balance work and family life, especially when your family is part of your work life. We're going to be doing that at Myriad Brewing. Very excited about uh, being at Myriad. Azip is going to be providing pizza for us, so we think that's going to be a great event February the 28th. And Myriad is on the west side, just right off. Actually, Myriad oh, it's is in, it's downtown. In the, it's in the... Yeah, it's in the Hotel. Yes, McCurdy. it is. Thank it's you. in the back of the McCurdy, and in fact, they just announced that their own brew will be coming out this week. That's exciting. So we've, we've got a lot of people signing up for that event, and we encourage you to go ahead and register, even though there's not a cost associated with it. Well, that's, yeah, just so you know how many exactly. slices of pizza. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right, what else are we looking forward to? So then we move into March with the day at the State House, and as you know, it's really nice for people to have an opportunity to talk with their elected officials. That doesn't happen very often, so the chamber likes to facilitate that. Um, it's it's uh, planned for March 12th in Indianapolis. Um, it's the majority of the day from 1 until 4 o'clock, um, and a great opportunity to meet and discuss important public policies and priorities. You head up on your own? Do you, if you drive head your up, own car? Yeah, or head up on your own, um, and you can find more information on the chamber's website about that. All right, and then uh, the former governor will the be available governor. to talk. Right. It's um, really a partnership with the Rotary Club of Evansville, bringing Mitch Daniels in to talk to the business community. And I think he has a lot of uh, friends and colleagues here. And so that's going to be a great event at the old National Events Plaza. And the date for that event is April the 8th. So if you would like to sign up for that, um, go on the Chamber's website and you can do that as well. So broad variety of events that are being offered through the chamber. No surprise there. Uh, let everybody know what uh, Mitch Daniels is doing now. So Mitch Daniels is the uh, president of uh, Purdue University. So he's gone into the academia. Exactly. Leadership, yeah. yes. He's a, you know, retired politician. I think it was the 49th governor of Indiana yes. and then moved over to the academic world and um, brought a lot of that business savvy with him to the academic well, I'm, I know he's probably been an asset to Purdue and will continue to be. So it's an opportunity to chat with him or your other lawmakers in the area exactly. and be a part of all that's going on from the chamber. Thank you, Kim. It's good to see you. So glad to be here. Thanks, Andrew. Your friend Matt Rao is next. Coming right. up, Matt Rao of the Rights Home is here to give us a little stroll into the family tree.